Hello, and welcome back to our Dauntless What If series. Let us recap the events of the previous video so that you are all caught up on what has been happening in our world. Last time we geared up and searched for a behemoth of nightmarish godlike power, Thrax, who alongside other behemoths of similar element and abilities, threatened not only our settlement, but our new way of life. We faced and engaged this deity in battle and won. However, it was not without great difficulty. Now, it has been five years since the Earth split opened, an event we have come to know now as the Rupture. It has also been a very tough five years after we faced and battled three behemoths with unbelievable powers, which we have come to categorize as Keystone Behemoths. Since we last faced Thrax, our state settlement has now become more stable and has expanded further into the state, allowing for us to be able to grow crops and raise livestock, as well as build strong defenses. Also, with the help of scientists and engineers, we have studied ether and found it to be not only a valuable source of fuel, but also a way to empower ourselves and our weapons and armor. Although due to Malkarian, our atmosphere was magnetized and would render any electrical aircraft useless. However, thanks again to our scientists and engineers, we have developed a new type of aircraft, one which uses ether as a fuel source and that could now take us to newer locations such as the one we are about to discover. Unfortunately, however, there is a new threat that we must take care of before we could claim this new forest-like land. For the sake of the law, we will call this behemoth Agaris. Rumors have once again reached our ears of strange behemoths covered in a strange fungal disease. However, there are also rumors of a strange, powerful keystone behemoth that appears as a tree. Those who have encountered these behemoths have shared that weapons of the shock elemental type do the most damage to these behemoths and that the behemoths possess powers of the earth element or terror. And so, after gearing up, we now embark on our journey to face Agoras. Could we survive this keystone behemoth? Let us find out. After arriving at our destination, we begin by getting rid of the smaller behemoths in our way. And take notice that those of the terror element also possess the ability to create poison pools with their blood or gastral release. This will of course present a problem as we were not prepared to deal with poison. However, our armor stands its ground and our steel is strong. So we pushed on until we finally spotted it out in the distance, a large moving tree of massive stature, Agoras. We now engage the behemoth in battle. As the battle goes on, we take time to examine the behemoth. Its ability to use its roots and create not only pools of poison, but poisonous plants as well, already make it a formidable foe. And we also surmised that it was responsible for infecting the other behemoths with its fungal spores. That alone would put this keystone behemoth at continent level, or perhaps state level. The battle rages on, and some of our comrades succumb to the poison. However, we are strong and have managed to avoid the poison thus far. And now, thanks to our shock element weapons, we managed to strike many critical blows and put an end to the tree tyrant we call Agarus. Now we take samples and carvings to give to our scientist for medicines and antidotes, and the new land is ours. But this all sounds good and fun on paper or in a video game. However, in a real life scenario, could we truly survive Agarus? Its abilities to use its roots could aid it in reaching the massive underground root systems of many different plants and trees, further spreading its toxic spores by which then it could truly become a planetary threat. But what do you all think? Could humanity survive Agarus? Could you? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, 
and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss the next What If video.